Everything we do that's repetitive is on the chopping block. And since almost everything we do is repetitive, we don't need to get to AGI. We just need to do things where lots of people create lots of repetitive data, and then we tokenize it, and we train the AI on the tokens. And then for the most part, it says, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It can be a photograph, it can be music, whatever it is, amino acids. Just give me a large enough data set and let me add it and, and, and you know, take a hike for, for a little while. I'll train on it, and then I'll know how to do that. You know what it's bad at? Things that, where there isn't much data. So I, I, just, I just found out about these orphan proteins where, like, everybody's got a different version of hemoglobin. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the, the quaternary structure of he, hemoglobin is these four heme groups, you know, four different proteins around a central element. What happens when you have a protein that has no analog anywhere else? The, the system doesn't have the ability to learn it. If, if I train you on the blues and you find out what a 12-bar blues progression is, then you find out that there's a variation where this, you know, the second bar goes to the fourth rather than just staying on the one for four bars. And then sometimes the fourth bar has a seven in it to create tension. Okay, so it's going to learn every single form of the blues like that. And because there's a large corpus of that stuff, it's going to get really good at blues music. You know? As a, but if you take something that basically never happens, it's not going to have an easy ability to train and give you more. So I think that AI is almost certainly going to transform the economy because everything that we, we know how to do through education creates repetitive behaviors. 